So in this video, I will go over six signs that it's probably high time for therapy, listed in no particular order. The more of them you notice in yourself, the better it would be to actually go and see someone. Sign number one, prolonged sadness. So while it's normal to feel sad after a breakup, still, if the sadness lingers and it starts to affect your daily functioning, you should probably get therapy. Especially when that sadness begins to morph into persistent feelings of emptiness and even depression. This would look like losing all interest in hobbies and activities that you normally enjoy. This would also look like having severe and chronic difficulty with focus, for example. And of course, sleep. Both very important aspects of our life that we want to keep at some normal baseline. Basically, this means you are constantly lethargic, low energy, and you either can't fall asleep or you keep oversleeping. Now, these are just some of the early warning signs that most people overlook. If you notice any of them, please treat them ASAP. Now, as for sign number two that you need therapy, it's constant rumination. So basically, if you find yourself unable to stop thinking about your ex or your dead relationship with them, you are constantly checking their social media and you keep idolizing or simply romanticizing the past, well, you are probably stuck in a nasty rumination loop that therapy could help you break out of. Now, while you can opt for just about any type of therapy here and it would probably help, I would specifically look into what's called cognitive behavioral therapy to treat this problem. Because according to the latest studies and data we have on this form of therapy, it still remains the most effective in resolving rumination specifically. As for sign number three, you need therapy, it's all about abrupt impulses. Now, to be fair, we all struggle with impulses sometimes, especially after a breakup, when, of course, our emotions run the show. We keep stalking our ex on social media, we desperately search for hints that they still miss us, even though the behavior makes us obsess about them even more. We keep calling and texting them, even though it causes unnecessary drama, we keep getting into new relationships just to drown out our pain and our loneliness, only to then find ourselves naively wondering why they all keep imploding. The point is, if you find yourself frequently giving in to your uh, post-breakup impulses, whatever they might be, however they look like, you should probably consider some therapy. Really, it's as simple as that. Fortunately, getting therapy is easier than ever with this video's sponsor, Online Therapy. Now, here are just three simple reasons why you should give them a shot. Reason number one, flexibility at your fingertips. Basically, engage with a licensed therapist or more than one, however you want whenever you want. Whether it's through text, voice calls, or video sessions, you can really tailor your therapy to fit your lifestyle. As for reason number two, you should choose online therapy. They also have an entire library of self-improvement resources. Like once you sign up, you will get immediate access to comprehensive mental health related courses, complete with worksheets, actionable exercises, and activity plans. And the final reason you should choose online therapy is because you have the ability to switch therapists at any time. So as I emphasized many times in my videos and on my blog, the cornerstone of effective therapy is the relationship you build with your therapist. That's why online therapy, it allows you to easily switch therapists until you find one that suits you perfectly. So you never really have to settle for less than the best match. Now, as a welcome gift, sign up for online therapy 
today using my link below this video and receive 20% off your first month. Just use the promo code THERAPY20 at checkout. The link again is in the description below this video. Use code THERAPY20 at checkout. Anyhow, getting back on track, let's talk about the fourth sign you need therapy after a breakup. And it's really when there's a lot of compulsive behavior going on. Now, to be fair, yet again, in moderation, compulsive behavior, well, it's usually harmless. A glass of wine, an episode of that new Netflix slop, a quick jerk off to a hot porno, these all help to get our mood up. However, if left unchecked, these behaviors can start sabotage in various areas of our life, and that's when they become a problem for both our mental and our physical health. So, if you find yourself repeatedly succumbing to your compulsive behaviors, and you feel you can't really do much to manage them effectively and constructively by yourself, you should probably get a therapist to just give you a hand. As for sign number five, it's all about low self-esteem. Now, the theory goes that breakups can often lead to a significant hit to one's self-esteem, no doubt about it. And then this plunge in self-esteem, well, it can pave the way for some pretty nasty repercussions. Among the most common are chronic worry, there's social withdrawal, basically to avoid judgment or criticism. There's negative self-talk and self-blame, even self-criticism. Then there's feelings of inadequacy and worthlessness. And, of course, proneness to anxiety and depression. So if you feel that your self-esteem fell a few notches and you just have a really hard time raising it yourself, you should probably see a therapist. And finally, the last sign you should see a therapist is if you had a toxic relationship with your ex. Basically, if your ex relationship involved cheating and lying and manipulation and games or abuse, either physical or emotional, therapy is an excellent idea. Therapy can help you unravel the complex feelings you've been left with and address any trauma, irrational fears, and trust issues that so often accompany relational toxicity. Additionally, therapy can also provide a safe space to explore and express the anger, the betrayal, and the sadness that often comes with toxic relationships which then allows you to process these emotions and move on faster as a result. Now, in the end, there is no shame in getting therapy. In fact, it could be the difference between a silky smooth post-breakup recovery and one full of obstacles and agonizing crap fests. And I know I would prefer the former myself. So with that being said, thanks for watching and that's it for the video.